I have a little update for you all in regards to the case involving Stormy Steele and her former COO, Kyle. So Kyle filed a lawsuit and I believe it is in federal court. Now, just for some context, Kyle did submit a amended complaint and pretty much it is just going over everything that was in the original complaint. So we're going to go ahead and read the documents are on the screen. We see it says prayer for relief. Wherefore plaintiffs respectfully request as follows. Oh you guys this document was um I'm sorry filed August 20th and his prayer for relief it says a award a money judgment against defendants for the amount that has been fraudulently and wrongfully withheld from plaintiffs. B. Award money judgment against defendants for the unjust enrichment defendants have received as a result of Ms. Steele's fraudulent statements. C. Declare that the plaintiff owns 30% of the canvas defendants. Now, that's something that stuck out because he said the canvas defendants. Now, remember in this um case, he filed it against Stormy and her, three of her LLCs. I thought that he was just going after 30% of canvas beauty brands. No, he's saying he owns 30% percent of all three under that it says d declare that the plaintiff owns a 30 percent profit distribution right in the perpetuity of the canvas defendant that's also separate hmm, interesting it says e award a reasonable attorney fees costs and expenses in this action f award such other relief as the court deems and just and proper jury demand in accordance with rule 38 of the federal rules of civil procedure plaintiff respectfully demands a jury trial any and all issues in this action is triable of right respectfully submitted the 20th day of august 2024 and we can see signed by kyle's attorney okay y'all so let's check out our next little update we have this document was then submitted three days later on august 23rd 2024 united states district court for the northern district of alabama so we see cal is listed as the plaintiff along with his consulting group stormy is listed as the defendant along with three of her llc's to mr addison which is cal's attorney and it is titled waiver of the service of summons and then it reads i have received your request to waive service of summons in the action along with a copy of the complaint. Two copies of this waiver form and a prepaid means of returning one signed copy of the form to you. I or the entity I represent agree to save the expense of serving a summons and complaint in this case. I understand that I or the entity I represent will keep all defenses or objections to the law court's jurisdiction and the venue of the action, but that I waive any objections to the absence of a summons or of service. It says, I also understand that I or the entity I represent must file and serve an answer or a motion under Rule 12 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure within 60 days from August 21st, 2024. The date when this request was sent or 90 days if it was sent outside of the United States. If I fail to do so, a default judgment will be entered against me or the entity I represent and is dated for August 23rd, 2024. And it says printed name of party waiving service of summons. And it has Stormy Steele. It says the signature of the attorney or unrepresented party. And I believe that is the attorney for Stormy. So they have signed. So you guys, it seems that Stormy did waive um, the right to the service of summons. Now I was trying to see why would this be um, done. One thing that I did read was that it gives the person more time to actually file their response and it also saves money. Y'all let me know down below in the comments. That's the update I have. Give me y'all thoughts. Please like the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.